fish band power wind 100 hs this is chinese uh, reel that i bought on aliexpress and uh, this uh, customized uh, customized edition so it has some differences uh, from uh, the stock one and uh, the differences are uh, this beautiful purple uh, knobs uh, different spool uh, the stock spool weight is 9.3 grams and uh, uh, this spool weight only 8.3 gram so it is one gram lighter than uh, the stock spool also the G, the G ratio is 6.6 .6 to 1 uh, retrieve power is five uh, is 4.5 kilograms it does uh, 70 centimeters per handle and uh, it has six point six plus one ball bearing but uh, also it has uh, four four bearing in the handle two two bearing per, per side so uh, as I as I have told it is a customized variant the stock one uh, doesn't have these beautiful knobs it has just uh, regular knobs from Eva like this but this one that I have uh, in my hand has both Eva knobs and uh, these customized knobs uh, so the overall uh, real weight is only 140 grams what is really amazing as for uh, cheap Chinese reel. Later on we will see how it performs on the water and how good it can cast uh, some really small lures. And also uh, it has magnetic brake system uh, regarding the cost. It cost only $63 and it cost me uh, it, 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 and it includes uh, the shipping so basically $63 and you, you get your real hand and the stock uh, variant cost about $48 or $50 I think uh, from my perspective it is worth it to buy this a little bit better variant So let's try this a little uh, hard plastic bait. So we are testing uh, this beautiful fish band 100 PW. The spool tension is just uh, to remove this unnecessary movement and the magnetic brake system I will try starting from 9 and I am casting this small lure the, that weight is 2.2 uh, grams let's see how it goes It's about seven meters. 
but the reel is brand new so uh, the ball bearing is still quite tight oh, th this time is about 10 meters Good ten meters. And also it is important to mention that uh, that my rod test is from three uh, to ten grams. So it is not the ideal rod for this type of lure. Maybe if you use uh, the rod with a lighter test, it will cut even further. Okay, let's try to put one click, actually two clicks, uh, to eight. It's about 11 between 11 and 12 meters which is quite decent as for uh, Chinese beef ass reel once again Ooh. this time it was about 13 meters Let, let's count the handle turns one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-one, and it uh, it makes seventy centimeters per handle turn, so it's about fifteen, sixteen meters, but. But you can see that it starts to throw unnecessary, uh, unnecessary fishing line. So I think it, it should be the optimal brake settings for this type of lure. Okay, let's try to put to between seven and eight, between seven and eight. So what I, I have found uh, for this lure from my experience, the best settings are between six and seven, as you see. If you put uh, the brake on 6, it's, the spool starts running too fast. So my, my next lure is the prototype of uh, Go Fishing Cat Joe. It weighs about 9 grams. The uh, magnet set is at point at seven, at 7 point. It's good 25 meters. Okay, so the next lure is this small worm and uh, it weighs only 2.2 uh, grams total weight. Okay, let's start starting from from 8th position
Okay. So, first cast about about 10 meters. Second cast about 12 meters. The third cast is about 13 or 14 meters. Let's try to adjust settings into the sound position. Ooh, hoo, hoo. It's about 17 meters, I guess. Pretty easily. So this time let's try with this uh, small worm and 5 grams jig. So the total weight is about 6 grams. I have already tried uh, to cast a few times and uh, for now the magnet settings are on, uh, on the point between 4 and 5 as you can see. And as I have already told, the spool tension is just to remove the side-to-side -side movement. So, let's see how it casts. And uh, it is important to mention that uh, this rod isn't uh, uh, particularly long, so it's only 2 meters. So if you have a longer rod, you can cast e even further. It is good 35 meters. Good solid 35 meters. So, to sum up, I can tell uh, that this reel is really amazing for the small lures like 2.2 and uh, upper. I, uh, I, haven't, uh, I haven't cast any lighter lures, however, if I have had the rods that can cast, I guess it can work with the lure about 1.5 grams maybe not so maybe not so good as uh, with heavier lures but I guess quite it can cast quite decent before this reel I had Aldebaran 12 and um, have, must say that uh, I am not disappointed that I bought this reel and sold out my Aldebaran. For use that Aldebaran I took $180 and I bought this reel for $63. Of course uh, Aldebaran has magnesium body but uh, Uh, this reel actually cast better than Aldebaran and have the same weight. Because Aldebaran's pool is smaller and weight more. I mean the stock one. Of course you can buy uh, the custom spool that weighs only 6 grams. 
but it costs about one hundred thirty dollars. The twice as much as this reel. Okay. This is go fishing at East Shot seventy SP. The copy of the bait Hamsin seventy SP SR. It weighed uh, it weighs 8.8 grams and it has the magnet system inside so you can cast it really decent distance. The magnet uh, the, the magnet brake system is adjusted on uh, 8 point and let's try to cast it it is good 25 meters ok let's try to go with lower brakes it's as you can see it's 7 Again one, again about 25 meters. Mm, the same, about 25 meters. But it is almost no wind today. Very subtle wind. Opa. Okay, let's try to to go even lower. Between six and seven. Backflash and um, about thirty meters. And it is important to say that if you have wind, any kind of wind, you must adjust your um, magnet settings properly. Otherwise, you risk to lose the lure if you have the wind that blows against you uh, you have to put you have to put more uh, more brakes like maybe eight or even nine depending on the uh, wind power. Okay, let's cast another another side. Oh, okay. So I put more magnets, and it casts only about 18 meters. So let's try to put magnets between. Six and let's try to put magnets on six. Ooh. It can cast about thirty meters. It's about thirty meters already. Let's try once again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, this time. What we have is a backflash and I will show you how to get rid of this. Let's try again. 
and mm -hmm. this is settings. As you can see, it's on the six. It is very sensitive to the wind now. I mean, it cast uh, quite a long distance, about 30 meters, but with magnet on uh, point number six, it is it's becoming very sensitive to the wind power. And if wind changes, you might you might catch the backflash. So, if you want to. I guess if you want to fish comfortable, this, uh, it makes sense to uh, put some more magnet brakes. Ah, and as you can see, it ended up with is losing my lure so I don't recommend you to put <laughs> to put the magnet system on this uh, as low as six point for such lure I think it is better to put like on seven fortunately I have another rod and I will try to find my lure <laughs> 